In today's episode, I'm going to grill a whole seven bone-in prime rib asado style on a rotisserie over an open fire. This style of cooking comes from Argentina and is called asado. It is a very involved style of cooking as you constantly have to watch and manage the fire. But you are rewarded with an amazing tasting food and you get to cook together with your friends and family. Traditional asado has very little seasoning. The gauchos only use coarse salt, but today I'm going to add a little bit of pepper as well. For today's cook, I'm going to use the Fogo Super Premium Charcoal and Oak Wood Chunks in an Art Flame Grill. I love how it pairs perfectly with the kanka for this open fire cook. I have this rotisserie add-on that you can use with any grill called kanka. It works perfectly for a large cut of meat like this. The rotisserie will constantly turn the meat ensuring even cooking temperatures and baste the meat in its own juices. Since this is open fire cooking, we can't just set the temperature and forget. We constantly have to watch the fire, add charcoal or wood and raise or lower the meat depending on the speed that you want to cook it. I want to cook this rib roast slowly so that I can get a perfect medium rare finish. Overall, this took about three hours and a half until the meat reached an internal temperature of 115 degrees and I removed it from the spit. For me, crust is flavor, so I'm going to cut the roast into individual steaks about an inch and a half to two inches thick and then sear them to get more of that amazing crust and flavor in every bite. Alright guys, and here we are. It looks absolutely amazing. Uh, I really enjoyed this uh, cook today. It was live fire cooking, very uh, involved. You know, you couldn't leave the grill one minute alone, run one minute unattended. A lot of work, but the results are incredible. I mean, you guys should smell this, absolutely incredible. Check this out. We have, um, we have charcoal grilled caveman style potatoes. Check this out, like, absolutely amazing. Mm. So good, full of taste. Then we have caveman style onions. Look at this, so basically don't worry about the, um, the charred outside. You're not gonna eat it. You're just gonna eat that interior, perfectly cooked, really yummy interior. Mm. Really good. And then we have squash. Again, burned on the outside, but don't worry about it. You're not going to eat the outside. Just gonna eat the inside. Peel off the burn skin. Here we go. Absolutely tasty, absolutely delicious. Mm. 
Wow. And here the centerpiece. So we did a whole prime rib. You can either cut this as a prime rib into small pieces, um, you know, simply take off the bone. Let me show that for you guys here. Just take off the bone, cut alongside the bone. It's easily removed. And that's it. You remove the bone and then you can cut it into nice small slices to serve for your friends. Just like that, prime rib style. See, perfect, medium rare. Absolutely amazing. I don't prefer it this way because basically you get a lot of the meat flavor, but you only get a little bit of the crust and the crust is where the flavor is. So I, I would personally do it this way, cut it into individual steaks, about an inch and a half thick, and then sear it again, just to get that extra crust. You know, you get this beautiful crust on both sides and that really amplifies the flavor, it gives you so much more flavor than just regular prime rib. Mm. But that is amazing too. All right, let's check out the steak. Remove the bone. And let's cut it into slices. Gonna give it a moment to, to breathe to come to color. Check this out, guys. Really, really beautiful. Beautiful steaks. Look how thick this is. This is like a two inch, almost like a two inch thick steak. Super tender, pulls right apart. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I prefer it like this. You know, you get a little bit more seasoning on both sides of the steak, more crunchiness, more crust. This beats the regular prime rib style. For me, you know, 100% every day. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Today's cook was all about taking your game to the next level, taking your live fire cooking game to the next level. You could do this all way easier. Baked potatoes in the oven, um, prime rib, reverse sear, and um, you know, sear it on your grill. You don't even need to do anything. Just put it on your grill for at 250, 300 degrees, walk away three hours later, you have a perfect, prime rib but this way you know over the fire cooking live fire cooking really demands a lot of attention um, you know um, but you get rewarded with all that all that flavor all that smokiness and you know you have a nice show you know when your friends are over you can really impress them and you know it's just fun it's just fun to cook over live fire so I leave you guys with that and I hope you guys try it out and I can't wait to, to hear you guys, hear from you guys down in the comments. And if you like this episode, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you again next week.